Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be going vegan for the day. Um, yeah, so I don't know what's in the fridge or freezer because my mum and sister did the shopping. So it's going to be a surprise to me as well as you guys what I have. <laughs> me and my sister are trying to incorporate more vegan things into our diet um, to try and help the environment. We haven't got the willpower yet to fully give up meat and dairy products and things like that. Um, but you never know what's going to happen in the future, so I'm not going to say for certain that I'll never be vegan because I don't know. Yeah, but it's going to be really interesting. I absolutely adore milkshakes. And I know for a fact I've got Nesquik powder in my cupboard and I bet it's not vegan, so... Even though I've got a milk substitute, I probably won't be able to have a milkshake today, but I can live. It's fine, it's chill. Let me know if any of you are vegan and how long you've been vegan for and... I don't know, how you cope? Like, do you miss meat? I know a lot of like vegetarians, for example, no longer like the taste of meat when they have it again. So it's really interesting, but yeah, I hope you like the video. So here's the nest quick and it says suitable for vegetarians, but nothing about vegans, so it doesn't look like that's an option. My sister bought these, uh, I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce it, but vegan croissants. So, I know that I can eat these. And I'm gonna have a banana as well. I'll have two of them because I'm greedy. <laughs> yeah, so I've not had these before, um, but my sister's had them quite a lot recently. So I don't, they must taste nice. <laughs> I do um, a comparative video one time of vegan products versus non-vegan. So I've just seen that these are in our cupboard and there's no way these are vegan, so I can't have any, but it's a torture. I don't even know if I'll have any sweet things that are remotely vegan apart from these. So, dessert for breakfast, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to do a taste test of this milk, Oatly. This was recommended to me by my vegan friend, um, Matilda. So, I'm going to try it, but obviously I'm not having the next quick until I check if it is actually vegan, but I don't think so. Now, I don't know how to... Well... I need to look at the milk and not the camera. That's quite a lot, isn't it? So the colours, I don't, you can't really tell, plus it's in a black mug, which isn't helpful. But um, it's a different colour. It's kind of like grey. So yeah, I'm going to try it. It's not horrible. It's really weird. It's like drinking porridge, but just, I don't know, it's smooth. So it's not too bad, actually. It's really tripping me out. It's kind of sweet. I actually like that. Good recommendation. Apparently it's not, I don't like coffee, um, but my sister said it's not great in coffee. It's not terrible. It's not amazing, but it's not terrible. It's very sweet, that looks really confused me. I don't know what I was expecting it to taste like, but I didn't expect it to be that nice. I don't know. Trippy. <laughs> You guys should go try that. <laughs> so I'm just going to heat up the croissants. Okay, so I've heated up the croissants. I don't know if I actually put them in for long enough. But like, it's not going to kill me. But they feel warm enough. They're actually quite cold underneath. These are really nice. I would recommend these. Mm. <laughs> and now I'm going to have a banana. I'm just going to see something. Hey Siri. Is Nesquik vegan? Everything you need. Vegan. Check it out. So you're not going to tell me I have to click it myself, okay? My arm's aching. I should have brought my tripod. Oh my god, just tell me. It's not vegan. Okay, I'm going to have to wait till tomorrow. That's fine. Okay, so I'm going to eat this banana and then I've had my breakfast. I'm like precariously leaving my phone in between a toilet roll that happens to be in here because we have no kitchen roll and a plate and my claw clip that you can see just <laughs> there. Um, because I didn't bring my tripod down and I don't know, I'm just lazy. Who doesn't love bananas? It's actually really late in the day. I got up and then I was reading this book. Um, 
It's probably Suki Stackhouse, I think her name is, series. And then, because I was reading, I just finished my book and then I started getting on with the day. So it's actually closer to lunchtime now, but I'm still going to count this as breakfast if I do a lunch and no dinner because I don't want to miss a meal. Especially when I'm trying to be vegan because it kind of defeats the purpose if I don't have three full meals a day. Yep. This is interesting content, isn't it? Just from eating. In my granddad's kitchen. I know for a fact that my um, fridge contains smoked salmon and ham and um, the corner, more corn yogurts. And it's a strawberry shortcake one, which is the nicest one they do. Um, I don't know, the freezer's full of ice creams right now. Okay, so that's breakfast done anyway. Um, so the next time I see you will be at lunch. I'm going to go tidy up or something. Bye. Okay, so in the fridge, my options are... Um, Sweet potato barges, which say vegan, um, and tofu. I literally don't know what to pair this with though. Hmm, all this stuff that isn't vegan. And in the freezer, we've got these veggie burgers and the cute squash and chicken burger, not chicken, the cute squash and chickpea curry boxing. on the cup and peas. Yes. Not vegan. So that's everything in my fridge and freezer that's vegan. So now I need to decide what I'm going to do for lunch and I have no idea because I don't know if the bread that I have is actually vegan. So I'm going to go and check. So it turns out the bread is vegan. Yay! So I'm probably just going to do so much. That makes my life a lot easier. Is my version of butter vegan? So Tolly. Suit me to the vegetarians. Contains palm oil. I'm going to leave that. I just have plain bread and fake burgers I think vegetarian burgers okay so the winner for lunch is the veggie burgers with seeded bread I just noticed they contain cauliflower which I don't like but I doubt I'll taste it so it's fine So I'm just going to try uh, a bit of one of the veggie burgers, hopefully it doesn't burn my top. It's actually really nice. Okay so my last meal of today, maybe, unless I get hungry again, is going to be the plant based butternut squash and chickpea curry from Asda. Um, again, I showed you guys earlier, it's 100% vegan, so I'm allowed it. Um, <laughs> at this point, I'd really fancy something sweet, but I don't really have anything vegan, so. I will refrain. I literally, I, I'm struggling to even open this. I'm going to have to rip it. Oh, let's just appreciate as well that it's all recyclable. Except for obviously the clean floor. 
So you know how I just said I wanted something sweet? Well, on the back of my jam it says suitable for vegetarians. However, I researched on their actual website and it says it's suitable for vegans too. So I could have had a jam sandwich or jam on toast. But I've already put that healthy looking meal in. Um, so I'm gonna have that and then I'll probably have that for dessert. <laughs> because I want it. Bye. Okay, so for some reason this meal doesn't really appeal to me. It kind of smells like my face mask from Lush, so that could be why. Um, but obviously I'm going to try it anyway, hope for the best. It has got one suet squash in there, which I love, so it should be nice. okay i mean i'd still prefer a jam sandwich but <laughs> it'll do So that was my vegan for a day video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm very hungry. Uh, I don't have enough vegan stuff to stuff my face all day and I usually eat quite a lot. So this was a challenge. Um, I definitely miss dairy products. But I will be trying to include more vegan alternatives into my diet. As I said, I'm still the video. So, Anyway, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe <laughs> and feel free to watch any of my other videos. There should be some available to you. Yeah. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.